everyone, Nick here. Hope you guys are doing well. And it seems that in this age of autonomous vehicles, exploding smartphones, and now killer robots, we've come to ignore one of the most important and hard hitting technologies of the 21st century. 3D printing. Now, I'll be completely honest, I've also disregarded this topic in the past, but I'm out to right some very evident wrongs. Traditionally, we've perceived, we've always perceived 3D printing as this almost gimmicky, kind of novel practice that only really exists in covert labs and research facilities, but over the last couple of years, some very innovative enterprises have made it such that 3D printing is common in the workplaces of universities, many, many, many research labs, design studios, and the offices of ambitious engineers. But there is a catch to all of this. All of the groups that I just mentioned work exclusively in ABS plastics. It's the cheap and banal and ubiquitous version of 3D printing material. And honestly, you can think of it as the black ink in a desktop printer. But to be fully honest, if you're going to disrupt manufacturing and design as an underdog, you're going to have to print in metal. Think about it. The world's largest and greatest enterprises are constantly defined by how they use metal to create great products. Think of any car, technology, design, or industrial company. So while Apple, NASA, and Boeing all have the resources to pump into laser melted metal printing and change the world with their products, the little guys can't until now. We now have a 3D metal printing process that's faster, cheaper, and safer than any current alternative, and it's going to turn traditional means on their heads. It's amazing, and we finally might be back to the time where we can have ambitious creators working out of their garage and milling great products that are competitors to stalwarts already in the industry. Let's check it out. So the superstars behind this effort are called desktop metal, and if they deliver, they can transform metal printing from a rigid, extravagant process into one that's reliable, 100 times faster, and 20 times cheaper. Currently, we're at a very vaguely defined boundary in the realm of 3D printing. Even now, the best 3D printers are only available to people that are rich, have money to blow, or are funded in some way. And the only way we're gonna make 3D printing a viable solution for everyone is if work like this gets through. Moreover, Desktop Metal is offering two versions of their metal printer. One is built for small engineering teams for rapid prototyping, and the other is a large-scale version built for huge manufacturing timelines. The studio version that's built for small engineering groups is incredibly reliable with very few maintenance issues, and each cartridge ships with over 200 possible metal alloy combinations. Not only that, but timing and temperature are all handled automatically. So all you gotta do is process your design, it to the printer and watch in amazement. They've managed to provide a human-centered solution to a traditionally very unwieldy process. Couple all of that with the fact that it's $900,000 cheaper than its current alternative and you can see why this is a huge step in the right direction. The production measure is an entirely different beast and an even more promising one at that. This large-scale printer uses metal powders instead of cartridges that are bonded upon application. And these powders are 20 times cheaper than the ones required for comparable laser metal printers. Resolution is also fine as a human hair and couple all of this with a price tag of $360,000 where competitors go for 1.5 million and you can see that this is an amazing piece of technology. All right, I get it. You see me going crazy over a printer that shoots metal and you probably think my priorities are out of order, and they very well may be. But I genuinely think that many people still don't understand the impact that a cost-effective solution like this could have. Imagine a manufacturing space where even the smallest engineering teams could machine products that match those built by enterprises with 30, 40, 50, 60 years of experience. We are witnessing the birth of a market equalizer, one that'll make 3D printing available to all and see the underdogs actually come into legitimate competition with tech, design, and industrial behemoths. It's huge. If I told you that Apple would actually receive competition from a comparable Kickstarter campaign, you'd look at me like I'm crazy. But it's technology like this that can make stuff like that actually happen, and it's a huge step in the right direction. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for making it this far. Click my links down below to read my Huffington Post articles and follow me on social media when you can. Thanks, guys.